time to add the leopard geckos. What the hell is that? What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. So today I'm actually gonna go get a bunch of supplies to redo the leopard geckos tank, the tortoise tank, because I've been getting a lot of comments saying that they cannot live together and that it's not good for leopard geckos to live on sand and tortoises as well. So my goal is to have the best homes for these animals. I do read your guys' comments. I do listen to what you guys say. And my goal right now is to make it the best home for them. So let's go do that. So as you can see, the tortoise and the leopard gecko live in a 40 gallon tank together. Obviously it's not the best looking tank. I try my best, but today I'm gonna make this insane. I'm gonna get the tortoise his own enclosure and the leopard geckos their own enclosure as well. So we are heading to the pet store right now. They do need another hide, so both of them have their own. So I already have one, so I'm gonna get one more. So I'm gonna pick up one of these, just to moist them off and everything, because sometimes they shed and it's good to moist them while they're shedding. Also gonna grab a bottle of Prime, just because I did read some comments saying to fill up the betta fish tank. So I did get a lid, so I can now fill it up completely to the top. I do need a thing of super worms. These things are crazy looking. Hold on, I'll show you. Ugh, look at this. They're literally massive worms. And they love these. So we'll get a pack of those. Boom. This desert substrate, it looks pretty cool. It's like a rough, rocky feeling. This seems pretty good for them. This is insane. Look at the crab. It's so sick. And up there, they got, oh, look at that. Daddy long neck. And every time I come to PetSmart, I have to look at the baby kittens. They are so cute. Oh my gosh. Look at this one. Hi, buddy. Oh gosh, there's a big one. Hello. Another little kitten. Oh my gosh. So cute. Let's go check out. So after noticing that I got the wrong size um, substrate for the bottom, I went in, got a new one, 40 gallons, about a 10 gallon before, so we're all set. Okay, we're back home. All right, so we got mealworms to feed them. We're gonna do that in this video as well. We got another hide. We got a spray bottle to moist them. And we got the substrate. Everything else I have, I have the tank. I have the water dishes, I have everything. The lighting as well. Now, a lot of you are probably wondering what I'm gonna do with this tortoise. Actually, I'm gonna be giving him a new home as well. So stay tuned for the next video for that. Put them here, turn this one off. And now a lot of people, and I did a lot of research, these geckos don't need heat lamps, but I do have a heating pad on them, so that will work. And I'm also gonna have the UVB on them. Tupperware or something to put these guys in till I get their cage all set up. So there we got this little guy. Here he is, hold on. So this is one of my favorite ones. I've had these guys for seven years now. He's very tamed, he's awesome. Very healthy as well. Then we have this little one right here. She's not, she doesn't like to be picked up, so I'm just not gonna mess with her. But yeah, she's very healthy as well. And a lot of people say her tail and everything. I bought her like this when she was this big. Her tail was already like that. We're gonna put the leopard geckos in this cardboard box until their home is redone. So we're gonna take this out. This out. Here's the first little one right here. Come down, come down. Tortoise, he will go in here with them. And then we gotta get the other guy. I gotta take these keys off. Now we have to get the other guy. Where is he? He's easy. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. He's a good boy. All right, let's get this going. I'll lay this towel down and put everything on here so I don't get yelled at by my mom. So, boom. Oh gosh. Hey, no. We're gonna close this up, just a tad bit. The geckos and tortoises are all closed up. They have some air to breathe right there, but that's just to stop them from getting out. Get these water bowls out. We're gonna wash everything down. Make this like a mansion for them. What I'm gonna do is just scoop all the sand and all the other stuff out and put it into this bucket right here. I'm gonna set you guys up right now.
What the hell is that? Oh my gosh. So I got as much sand as I possibly can get out. We're gonna add the desert substrate right now. Perfect for them. Let's open it up over here. This thing is messy. Wow. Very messy. All right, hold on. Let me put the camera down. And look at that. This stuff is awesome. It's like a rough texture, like sandpaper almost. But I think this is great for them. Let's wash off these water dishes for them. Another good thing about that substrate is because when I had the sand in there, it always got in the water bowls and just made a mess. So this is way better. I'm gonna be using that one for the tortoise just because it's a shallow dish and you know, just so he can't drown or anything. So we'll use this one for the leopard geckos. Oh gosh, look at that. A cricket made his way. I guess he was stuck in here. It's funny. All right, so I think we're gonna put this water dish like somewhere in the corner right here. I think it looks pretty good. Maybe turn it like that. And this way they can just, you know, climb up, get some water, and they're good. And we're gonna add this hide. This is a really big hide. I like it because there's two of them in here and they can both go in here if they want. And we also bought another extra one right over here. So this one's also good. So in case, you know, in case his wife kicks him out one night, doesn't want him sleeping with her, he can sleep over here. Look at that. Got one hide there, and one hide there. Let's add some plants and make this thing look insane. I'm gonna put it right here, because I think that looks really cool. It fills in that little gap, so that's good. Then, I do have a log somewhere, right here, perfect. I'm gonna put this right up here, like that kind of, so they can climb up onto the log and stuff and have fun. Now, I don't have a food dish for these guys, just because most of the time I feed them live crickets and just let them go in the crate and the crickets will run around or I'll get mealworms and just lay them on the floor and they'll eventually find them. This is something I've had for a long time now. It's, it's like a fake cactus. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna put it in this corner just for a little decoration, make them feel like they're actually in the desert. So there we go, we'll leave that like that. So the leopard gecko tank is complete. This thing looks so good. I mean, they got a hide right there, a log, some plants, or another hide, a water dish, and a fake cactus. Looks awesome. I think this is gonna be much better. And also, under this log right here is a heating pad. So it's time to add the leopard geckos to the new home. Let's go, buddy. I'll add her first. This could, oh, gosh, look at her. Oh, come on, no, come on. Come here, girl. Come on, girl. Oh, calm down. Look at that. I'm actually gonna feed them once I get them in and they get a little comfortable. Look, she's climbing up the wall. Let's add this guy in right now. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Got him. Let's see how he likes it. This one's my favorite. Oh, he goes right into the hide. <laughs> Let's see. So they are loving their cage right now. They're both actually together in the hide right there. Their heating pad is on. So I'm gonna close this. I'm just gonna put the UVB on this because they do have a heating pad and I did some research and it said that the heat lamps are not good for the leopard geckos because it can dry their skin. So let's turn this on. Put that right in the middle right there. Look at that. I'm gonna give them some fresh water. Boom. Let's feed these guys some mealworms real quick. So we got some nice Timberline mealworms. These things are their favorites. Look guys, look buddy, look. And that's what I do, I just throw them in and let them hunt on their own. Look, he, he, he sees them, watch this, he sees them. And he got him. And that's how I do it. That's how they get fed every single day. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video of me 
redecorating my leopard geckos tank please leave a like and a comment down below also if you're wondering what i'm going to do with this tortoise i guess you'll have to check the next video see you